President Biden landed at Northeast Philadelphia Airport aboard Marine One on his way to speak to union workers at the Sprinkler Fitters Local 692 headquarters in Parkwood this afternoon. CBS News reporter Josh Sanders is live for us tonight in the Northeast where the president just wrapped up his remarks to union workers. Josh. Just wrapped up. Good evening, Alicia. Good to be with you. President Biden often says he's the most pro union president in American history, addressing union members today, including members of the Teamsters, America's largest union here in Northeast Philly. But before Biden's remarks, Bill Hamilton, president of the Conference of Pennsylvania Teamsters, agreed with Biden. Hamilton told the room the Biden Harris administration saved more than 1 million pensions by passing the Butch Lewis Act. He said former President Donald Trump, on the other hand, is no friend of unions or labor. He implored members to vote for Harris. Butch Lewis's widow, Rita, also addressed the crowd, telling them the Biden-Harris administration followed through with their promise to take care of unions. Biden then took the stage. He repeatedly told members the middle class built America and unions built the middle class. The president then awarded Lewis's widow the Citizens Medal, and she said he's proud of what Vice President Harris and he have done for unions while taking Taking a shot at former President Trump. Take a listen. I'm honored to be considered the most pro-union president in American history, and I'm proud to be the first president to walk a picket line. <laughs> Kamala is proud to have walked a picket line as well. The other guy looks for picket lines to cross, but we've always had your back. President Biden will now travel to Wilmington as all eyes remain on Pennsylvania with both campaigns making sure this battleground straight is crucial on their way to the White House. Alicia, back to you. Josh, every vote counts. Thank you tonight.